Right now, COVID cases in Utah continue to climb and a new school year is right around the corner. That is prompting a group of concerned parents to push the State Board of Education for a mask mandate in public schools. Fox 13 Scott McCain has more from Salt Lake City. Braving all the smoke in the valley today, a handful of concerned citizens rallying, trying to make it very clear to state school board members that we need a mask mandate in our public schools. They know it's an uphill battle, but they say they need to have their voices heard. I never would have imagined that we would be here rallying today in this manner. We are all united as citizens against the virus. And this is a time for us to pull together. Some brought along their school-aged children holding homemade signs, hoping school board members hear their plea for a school mask mandate. Health department officials now say COVID-19 is spreading more easily than ever, even among children. The Delta variant is as contagious as chicken pox. Many call that a recipe for disaster heading into a brand new school year. But these folks say every little bit helps in terms of stopping the spread of COVID, including students wearing face masks. They were concerned that we need to have protection, all the protection possible going back into school to keep our schools open. We all want the schools open and that that's the best way to keep them open. No masks, no vaccines. And there in a nutshell are the two sides of any proposed mask mandate. The option whether kids are going to be wearing masks or not is should be left up to the parents. It's our choice. There are children. I respect their point of view just as much as I would hope that they respect our point of view. Jasmine Reyes pulled her own children out of public school in Syracuse and put them in a charter school where they don't have to wear a mask. She says she's okay gambling with their health and the health of their fellow students. Yeah, I'm totally okay. You know, with a 99.9 .9 survival rate, I will gamble with that. And, you know, I think a lot of people do need to educate themselves a little bit more, even though, you know, health experts, it's still up and going. Um, you know, this coronavirus, the vaccine, everything, it's still up in the air. Nobody really knows anything about it. It's just, it's just all an experimental. That's absolutely not true, according to the vast majority of health experts who say vaccines and wearing masks do work in both stopping the spread of and minimizing the effects of COVID. Representative Benyon says in their law prohibiting mandating masks in public schools, state legislators did leave some wiggle room. It gave room for our health departments to choose what is best at the local levels because they didn't know if the variant would come, so they left that power. And now we have the variant, so we definitely need those departments to be supported by the county councils and by all of us as citizens. The debate rages on. In Salt Lake City, Scott McCain, Fox 13 News, Utah. Well, that parental rallying on both sides comes as vaccine administration increases a little more since yesterday's report. The Department of Health reports over 7,800 people have received a COVID-19 vaccine yesterday. 2,700 more Utahns are now reported to be fully vaccinated.